Hi Capricorn, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I hope you are making your vision board and joining in the competition. I hope you will be. And if you're not, um, please join in and in following everybody else because I will be holding live sessions to see whether anybody has any difficulties or questions. That will be in about two weeks time at the end of June. But this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June. Okay, we're halfway through the month then when this week has passed. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. And please hit that subscribe button and the bell on all. And then you'll be notified as I go live on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my cyber, ba uh, cyber angels or babes. And thank you very much for your beautiful support. I love you dearly. The, the tea room is absolutely fantastic. And it's rocking. <laughs> I give away free cards, as you know. So this is information for the new viewers. And um, that usually it can be two cards. Sometimes it's three. It all depends um, how the um, energy is in the tea room and i've got beautiful moderators thank you to all the moderators for uh, keeping the tea room uh, happy uh, as larry and keeping our backs safe and i do answer questions um, that are supported by the super chat or a super sticker if you would like an extensive reading then look for the details below this video in the description box i'll click on the white circle in the top right hand corner now this week I'm usually I'm usually I usually when I do an extensive reading I do a nine card reading because you can get a lot of information on this and uh, this time I have just changed the layout because usually I do four uh, four cards uh, or, uh, for or four cards for the week and one for the theme card. Well, I'm going to take you as the querent. Uh, as if you're sitting across me and this is the querent card then I'm going to start Monday on top of you Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday in the extensive reading I do it in another way but this is the layout, this is the spread because I've got so many new decks I would like to in, uh, integrate them into the reading and it is the shadow deck and the mirror truth Lenormand the uh, Shadowlands are the tarot deck and I'm using the White Witches uh, deck um, because uh, this is the big arcana and that can give an indication on um, a zodiac sign that could be around you and it could be involved in the reading and I'm giving you an angel card as an angel for you to talk or to connect with during the week besides the meaning of the card Okay, you are the magician this week. Okay, this reading is from the 8th uh, to the 14th of June 2020. You are the magician. You've got all the talents, all the knowledge and the know-how to get what you want this week, Capricorn. Look at everything. It might be very busy because everything is flying around and I call this card the Nutty Housewife. <laughs> It's a new beginning for the Nutty Housewife. Well, that can be the case as uh, lockdown is easing up. So there will be new beginnings and new starts. So she might or you might have lots to do. So even if you're a man, you're the madhouse man. <laughs> I love it. And then we have Monday. And Monday you have the Knight of Pentacles. You might start a new job, you might start an, a new level in a job, you might start something totally new. You might be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. Wow, look at him, he's got the money bag. Yes, the pentacles are the money bag. You might be getting news about some money, it could be about a rice. It could be also about um, uh, that you've bought the house, that your mortgage is coming it through, your loan is coming through or a rise, something that uh, it's about money, something about durability. It could be about the house that you've got your permission to put on the extension or buying a new house or perhaps selling your house. That is on Monday the 8th. Then we go to Wednesday and Wednesday you have the Ten of Cups. 
endings, new beginnings. It, there could be a cancer involved, as we have the crab in the picture. Okay, there's loads of colors, but it is action, action, because I see a lot of yellow and uh, orange and red, so there is action on Wednesday. So you are ready for this new beginning, emotional uh, fulfillment, completion, uh, emotional, uh, you might get um, an offer um, or news about somebody that's passionate. This could be an earth sign, like I said. So you might feel to totally fulfilled, a new beginning, a new passion, a new relationship. It could be in work and it could be in love. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. You might feel out of balance and feel left out. Don't worry, okay? Somebody's watching you, somebody's watching your back, so you're not alone, so don't worry. You might just want to join another group. You might have grown out of a group. Uh, or you might feel left out because you've been studying during the lockup, and or you've you've given birth, or you might have just moved home, and you feel left out when you've moved home because you're in a new environment and you don't know. Uh, you you feel alone. You could because you've now moved home. Okay because we started off with the mortgage so you might have moved from neighborhood you might have moved in together that's why you're emotionally happy and in balance but you might just feel a slightly uh, a tick left out okay but you can always join clubs or other uh, activities so you can get to know people so in other words the five of pentacles it says um, you're not alone, the angels are with you, you are with your loved one if you've moved in together and you will be busy because your magic, I mean the, the magician is that he's going to get what he wants or she's going to get what she wants but you, you're doing it, you're making the decisions, you're in your power and don't um, be clear about what you want and don't uh, have any disillusions and don't do things in illusion in other words do things in the out in the open and not behind closed doors don't stay on the straight and narrow that is what i'm hearing as well so join another group if you're moving house or if you've joined a uh, a new job you might feel out of ba uh, out of balance for a while because you've just started something new okay at the weekend you've got the star and the star is an Aquarius so Aquarius is quite prominent in your reading okay and could also be a Gemini because the magician is also Gemini okay so your wish is coming true at the weekend so you won't feel out of balance anymore you might get a new friend which is a Gemini and they're quite spontaneous and active <laughs> so keep your hats on because they go boom like the the wind like the light okay well wind they are an air sign they're like a bat out of hell sometimes so make sure that if you can't keep up with them that you that you let them know what your boundaries are okay now we've got this card the child in this corner so I can read it like this, I can read it like that, but I'm just going to try to relate it to the three cards in the corner. There could be a child, so you might be getting news that you're pregnant, Ooh, and you've been waiting for this, you've been saving up for this, because you know children cost money. Uh, you have made it happen. Perhaps if it didn't, went, didn't go naturally, you actually had went to an advisor, and um, like a doctor or a gynecologist, and you got into a program and you got everything out of the cupboard to get pregnant. And you've got <coughs> the Jack of Ace, uh, the Jack of Air, of Spades. Look, you've got the Jack of Spades. So it might have been a Gemini, like I said, but the Jack of Spades could also be a uh, Jack of Spades is Aquarius, and you've got Aquarius underneath it. Because the King is Gemini, the Queen is Libra, 
and page is um, a jack and that is Aquarius and so is the star so perhaps your partner might be an Aquarian or and the doctor might be an Aquarian but there is a new start or you might have a new emotional relationship with an Aquarian Wow be more playful okay don't be too serious the air signs are very plain playful because they're swift and are spontaneous now you've got number 13 so that says friendship fellowship and four so um, you always bring it down to one figure if you can and that is your uh, prominent figure in the numerology okay so you've got uh, and we were talking about a house that's built on proper foundations so this relationship will be uh, passionate loving but also caring and fun but it will be built on proper foundations I think you've learned from the past also um, you might hear of a pregnancy but you might start also a new study or a new project or a new job Wow your wish is coming true whatever it may be now we're going on to the other card and you've got the crossroads and the crossroads means decisions and choices now it's lying in this corner and I'm taking it you've made a decision uh, about your emotional uh, well-being and it's turned out positive you've like you I said you've got the key in your own hand and you've made the dec decision to carry on with something new because you've got the number one here and you've got the like I said the angels have your back you've got 22 which is also for stability this is a good choice that you've made because it will bring you more stability instead of being the mad housewife or the mad houseman <laughs> and it is um, the the crossroads um, is looking towards the back of the pentacles and the pentacles is looking towards a new beginning so you've decided to go for this new beginning and slow but steady and like I said you will be getting news about your decision so you might have decided to get pregnant or to get help to get pregnant if that's what you want or a new project a new job or a new house something new that will return its rediment his interests then we go to these three cards and the three cards you've got the gentleman like I said you might have met an Aquarian or a Gemini I'm not going into um, the signs of the um, Lenamon that's what I would do in an extensive reading because this is a general reading but again 28 is 10 so there's endings perhaps an ending with man or perhaps a new beginning because where there is an ending there is a new beginning so there is a prominent prominently there is a man in your life or will be in your life it could be also business like because the man stands for steadfastness business career orientated and I did say you might have a new study if that is what you wish um, you might want because you've got all the talents and all the knowledge you might want to perfect the knowledge specialize in something okay we've got the Pentacles so because you are with a man you and you might have moved home or you might have bought a home together you might move to another neighborhood and that's why you feel out of sorts so that's the confirmation of the first um, a clarification or what uh, saying that I said it uh, could be why you're feeling left out now we're going to look at this corner and this corner is the rods the rods means that you uh, could be having arguments with um, a, a page and this is the page of fire clover um, as you can see and it's number 11 but it is short-lived because um, 11 means that the angels are uh, 
have your back and it becomes a two so it doesn't throw you out of balance balance this disagreement or argument because if you look in this line um, you've got your wish coming true and there is a new beginning so there could be a new beginning with the page of fire but I wouldn't go into these pages but we do have a page of air and a page of fire so I think air is more prominent for you okay now the man what kind of sign is he he is the ace of um, I forgot that that was the ace of Pentacles so again I said to you there might be a rise there might be an uh, advancement that is what you're going to get news for so the ace of Pentacles that could be also the earth signs so you've got the air signs the fire signs and the earth signs and the road is the Queen of Pentacles so the Queen of Pentacles if you're a man it could also be um, a woman but we've got the couple so I think in this row this couple is going to have emotional fulfillment like I said balance you've got the four two fours uh, three and one is four and then we had um, the four here in the top row okay beautiful reading I think it's really got loads of info that you can use now if you look at this side rouse you've got it in you to calm down and uh, make the row short-lived and come round to a compromise you've got the talents the gifts and the wisdom and you've made a decision so it might be an ending and a new beginning you might want somebody else perhaps that is your wish okay perhaps your partner doesn't want you to go so it's up to you there is an, a reconciliation if that is what you want because you're in the middle of it and you can make it happen so long you don't row so make a decision to communicate or you might seek help from a man okay a doctor uh, we, there was the gynecologist um, but I also see that if you want to bring this wish round of pregnancy the argument might be about pregnancy or about going back to work because you've had children um, it could be anything but you might need an arbitrator to help you now you've got the death card and the death card means again leaving the old behind and you're in transformation you're no longer the caterpillar you're becoming the butterfly you're going into a new period and death also represents Scorpio so there could be a scorpion here okay Capricorn now the angel that has your back if not all the angel is the um, hold on I just have to check that is um, the brown angel feather the, a practical approach is required the angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time yes there is a lot going on your wish is going on there's a lot of endings new beginnings um, so and like I said in the beginning it's like a lot is going on so take your time you can't run before you can walk one step at a time okay and I'm going to give you your angel for your week and the angel is Archangel Sandalphon the guardian angel of earth and you have a lot of earth in you okay you've got the um, ace of earth as well wow so that is ginormous and you've got the queen of earth so I hope you will enjoy your week take care stay beautiful and be healthy and safe i will see you in the live hopefully on monday wednesday and friday or any of these evenings and stay and please share and like i love you you're in my heart take care my beautiful caps i call you cappy really but i love you all the same love you ciao ciao